as we come to near the closing of our worship service, um, just want to let you know of one thing that will be different next week. Next week, we will actually be doing a um, communion. Uh, we have not been doing that for the last two months, um, even though if, uh, we are, as some people know, our heritage as disciples is that we have communion every Sunday. We haven't done that um, just because I think there is an importance of communion being something that is an actual physical, tactile experience. However, because this is probably going to be an extended experience, I think that it is important to do it on special occasions, on special days. Um, next week, May 31st, is Pentecost, so we will be doing a full, some communion and um, we will be sharing instructions later this week on how you will be best to do that. Um, and again, we won't be doing this every Sunday, but we do feel in this case that because of course, this situation is so um, new, is that we find that there will be some Sundays that we will have um, communion, um, as they say, virtually. Um, it is not to me the best solution, but I think right now, um, not knowing when we're going to be having in-person worship again, um, it is important that we have at least some times that we can um, take part in, in, in God the Lord's Supper. With that, um, as we said, we have been doing for the past week is something that we've called a spiritual communion, which is a way of um, acknowledging that we can't meet together, but um, knowing that God is with us is a way of, of, of looking forward to that time um, when we will come together. So let us take part, let us um, together say um, the words printed in your bulletin. Dear Jesus, I believe that you are truly present in the Lord's Supper. We love you above all things, and we desire to possess you within our souls. And since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, we beseech you to come spiritually into our hearts. We unite ourselves to you together with all your faithful people gathered around every table of your church and we embrace you with all the affections of our souls. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. And now, dear friends, let us take part in the benediction. Lord of, Lord of love and light, you have called us to this place and have fed us with your loving spirit. You have, feasted, you have feasted us on bread and wine, the symbols of our covenant with you, now send us on our way in joyful service, in peace in your world. And all God's people say, Amen. Go in peace, dear friends, to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Amen.